1985 Plymouth Caravelle. Tyler said he's not impressed. I do like the interior though, it's pretty clean. These used to litter church parking lots and Kroger's everywhere. <laughs> On any Friday afternoon, you'd see seven or eight of them in front of an Eckerd's picking up their pills. Yeah, I bet, I bet that thing would bump out pretty damn good though. Everything but like back here you can clearly tell it's... Yeah. It's going on. But it should still probably clean up pretty well. So guys, the um, <clears throat> there was the Dodge Intrepid that we filmed, and then there was the pretty sweet Taurus SHO, and then there's another Buick that I haven't filmed yet. And out of all those awesome things, we saved a K car. Looks like a older Skylark front end with that pointy crap. Like the ugly Mustang front end. Yeah, or the ugly Mustang. Was there ever a, a good looking Mustang? Yeah. But no, out of uh, all the cool stuff, we traded the what we had for the Volvo wagon. For a car I can't open the hood on. Oh, there we go. Let's get up. <sighs> this should be a 2-2. Two -two. Yep. 2.2 liter of K Car Fury. Chrysler electric fuel injection. And they were proud of that. Sounds like a full company wrote on the side of it. Cool hubcaps. She backed into something on the door. So the, the door is kind of into the fender. We'll have to put some hinges on it. But manual windows, manual locks, and power mirrors because <laughs> Dodge. <laughs> Got cruise control and a pack of crackers and some napkins and it's a uh, automatic on the column which is the best kind of automatic it's got one of those cool steering wheels it's also got a hard to use horn I think I'm sitting on the keys that I am let's turn the keys on Oh, that is sweet. Late 80, early 90s. Uh, FM, 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 FM. No sound from the radio. That's sad. fan blows air. Yeah. So it turns over. Yeah. Yeah, that fuel pump sounds so mad. Ugh. Yeah, it does. Right, 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 right. Whoa, door went flying open. This thing is sharp. I mean, look at the headliner, mail tray, seats. I mean, look at this carpet. I mean, this thing is like showroom. You could probably put a paint job on it. What were you saying about the distributor? But no. Not bad. Nah. 
How it, hard did these motors to find if it needed one? Oh, no, nah, not bad. Believe it or not, they usually don't need a motor. These aren't the ones that uh, throw rods. These are the ones that uh, freeze over and crack blocks or the heads blow. Uh -huh. But it's timing belt and there's nothing to it to put a head on it. So. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look too And with 90,000 miles, I don't think it's going to need a head. Yeah. That antifreeze was super green. Well, it's ready not, for a not change. Not bad, but I mean, I've, I've definitely seen worse in some of the Hondas. Oh, God, yeah. I don't think anybody with acidic changes their oil. Pre like 97. I, I was about to say, I, I changed my oil. I pre 97. It's got a premium synthetic blend in it. Oh snap. Yeah. Runs like a. The guy Swiss at the oil watch. change place talked me up on it because if anyone has ever tried to change oil on a K series Honda engine, you're going to burn the fuck out of yourself. Excuse the language. That's it's right there beside the. Manifold the exhaust. Yeah. What? There was. Oh. No, it wasn't a Taurus. God, what was it? I mean, it might have been a Chrysler, but they put the oil filter right in between the, the two exhaust manifolds on the six cylinder. Like, it had a little hole in the center. Might have been a Volkswagen. Just big enough for you to get like an oil filter wrench in there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just barely. So if you didn't yeah. have one of those, you're just going to take a trip to the emergency room. You're right. Still alive. <laughs> this one's pretty easy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, everything was like maintenance accessible in the 80s for the most part. Yeah, I saw the, but it lasts well, for a ground or something, or a sensor. It fired up on fluid, so I mean, obviously it's gonna get sparked. Yeah. Acura 3.2. I was thinking the same thing, J-Swap. AC compressor's not stuck. It probably still would will work. That's, pretty sweet. That's what Tim was saying. It's been converted. Which is always fancy. Yeah, right here. Uh, notice retrofitted to R134A on the date 4 4 of 18. <laughs> Maybe that's supposed to be 98. Yeah, we'll go with that. I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> not next year. The car is from the future. Yeah, futuristic. No. Okay. That's probably supposed to be 98. Got 185 70 14s on it. Check out that that mirror. Just the. You know, now that Tim said something about these hubcaps, they are pretty nice. They're snazzy. They're snazzy. And they're not plastic either. Think of how many times this car has been to Sears to get a set of tires put on it. Hmm. Yeah. Or just went straight to the Firestone uh, car care center. Could have, you know. This this was a sweet machine back in '85, man. It's a, <clears throat> no, it's got the little. Yeah, it's got the release in the floor. This this wasn't a Cavalier, and th this wasn't a Civic, you know. Yeah. This was this was America. This was Chrysler. This was. You owned a Plymouth before they died. My dad had one of those Plymouth Breeze. The yeah. Dodge Neon. Yeah. Looking things, man. That thing was pretty cool. Kind of. Kind of. Call it Dodge. Not long after purchase. <sighs> I really like the blue carpet. Blue carpet gets to me. She's snazzy for sure. Hits me right in the field. I like a whole a complete colored interior. Come on. You guys, what do you think? I know. Oh, they sent to a loan company? There we go. I don't know why, but for some reason they changed the interest. So when I called and painted, they were just like, have you gotten in any wrecks? And I was like, no. They were like, oh, well, they canceled it, but I'm just going to reinstate it because it hasn't had time to go to the DMV yet. So I'm guessing it. Snazzy, snazzy. Plymouth. All right. Care of it. All right, let me call him. All right, love you. What do you think, guys? It was 400 bucks. Could not let a K car get scrapped for 400 bucks. Look at that. That's a car only a grandmother could love. Or Tim. <laughs> I 
and the hood closes all the way. I just don't have it closed all the way. But that fender is bent a little bit. 1985 Plymouth Caravelle. New addition to the fleet of 80s Econo boxes that we're slowly collecting. What do you think, guys? 400 bucks and put a fuel pump in it? I like it. Now, someone comes to the Taurus. We'll catch you in the next one.